say good morning or good afternoon, wherever you're watching this from. Um, got requested from a few people. Well, I just started a little YouTube channel, so um, TikTok ain't cutting it or Instagram and all that. Um, TikTok's a bit more better with the videos I've heard. So I thought I might as well start a little YouTube channel and see how it goes, just to post a few videos, farm videos, so yeah. hopefully um, this goes well and yeah. This morning we're starting spraying, so doing a bit of, bit of summer spraying, so we're hooking the sprayer up and um, yeah. So a little bit of story behind me. Um, I'm Taj obviously, uh, 15 year old, well, 16 year old now. From Henty, New South Wales. From out around a small town, Henty. Um, live on a farm obviously and yeah farmers and all that and um, farm about nearly 1,000 acres or so um, yeah currently we're filling up the spray unit if you can't tell dad's filling her up so I'm just sitting in the AC cab you know just like usual it's always the buddy supervisor that makes the most money so, get the sprayer filled up and then we'll shoot out to the other block where we're spraying. And, uh, yeah, go on from there. I'm gonna take the drone out with me. Got me trusty old steed with me. Mini 3 DJI, Mini 3 Pro. So, hopefully it's gonna be good quality on this, on this buddy, on this app. Hopefully it will be, might not. Don't know, but um, yeah, we'll soon figure it out. But at the moment, we're just going to start with probably one video every two weeks, maybe. Because um, yeah, TikTok's not really cutting it. So yeah, we're just waiting for this to fill up and then we'll head out. So um, sprayer's filled up. Just waiting on Dad to. Get moving because he's, he's taking his sweet time. But um, we'll go out to another property and um, spray that out, and then get the drone out, I suppose, have a bit of fly around. So it's 8 30, and um, we're heading out now. Dad's taking his time still. He's filling up the tractor and um, then we'll go out there and smash the 36 hectares out 90 acres and um, yeah it's too hot to still spray in like other like later morning early mornings 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock probably good time I'm not a professional at it so yeah but um yeah we're spraying uh, around up an Amazon I think we're spraying the canola panic paddock but um soon gonna be getting into stubble crunching Stuff slash breaking kind of thing, but um, yeah, only got about 150 acres, uh, or 180 maybe actually, of canola that we put in this year. We didn't put much in. Um, we finished pretty early because we didn't really have to do any contracting or anything we weren't really looking for it but uh yeah so i'm gonna go 
dad's probably over in the corner to my left where the trays are. He's probably just unfolding and probably about to go. Yeah, he's coming this way. And he's slowly, slowly creeping. Yeah, he's already ready to go. I don't know if you can see, but it's like, yeah, it's right, right there. Um, so I'm gonna go to the dam in the middle of the paddock, which is, oh well. But the dam's full of yabbies, and it's yeah, the yabby dam when we go fishing, because fishing's pretty good. Caps the buddy, the big dogs, the three meter flatties. I'll pop the drone up and go from there. So Dad's just gone over the hill. He's doing the headlands, obviously. Um, this is the drone. I'm 99.9% .9 sure most of you are seeing it. Or all of people have seen it. I'm going to tie you up because you're going to probably try and chase it. And last time that happened, Dad was laughing his head off and I nearly lost my drone because of you. Yeah, you probably like chasing. So, for you as unaware, it's a DJI Mini 3 Pro. Um, it's a controller with the screen on it, so don't put your phone in there. It's honestly, I'd rather this. People would say they'd rather have their phone in it. But it's a decent drone. I would like to get either a Mini 4 Pro or maybe a a little bit bigger than that, maybe like a Mavic 3. But you could have money for that. And I'm not a rich person. So, yeah, we'll take this off and see who she's buddy. She's interested in it. There's 7 billion people on the planet. I want them to know I'm here. <laughs> not one. Not a goddamn soul. The storm's running through the Midwest. Like a bandit out on the loose And all the clouds are black as nightfall But all I see is you And rain's pouring through the window panes And the cracks of this roof Tea's boiling from the spout of the pot But all I see is you no, I'm just flying the drone around Got her up there now um, it's getting pretty windy, so I've just landed it for now. Um, I might put it up in probably another 20 minutes or so. That's when he'll probably be in the middle of the paddock ish, so it'll probably be better than just headland shots because he's on his second headland now. And it's pretty windy for spraying, so I don't know why what he's doing, but look, I'm not the spraying man, so. We'll just see and uh, wait and see until he gets into the middle of the paddock a bit more. In the meantime, I might just walk around and just check stuff. We'll just go around, check stuff, and yeah, see where we go from. So, Dad's almost finished on stone. He's got about five acres or so to go. Um, he said he would probably go finish spraying off the dam bank just down the paddock um, got a few drone videos got um got the drone out and flew around um, it's a bit windy but um the drone handled it surprisingly um, now I'm just probably just go home download these videos and then yeah that'll be that so, been quite the eventful day. Well, I don't think so. But, um, then we'll go home and get these videos downloaded and then see what Dad's up to for the rest of the day and then, yeah, go from there, I suppose. So, it's 2.30. Um, we finished spraying this morning around, Dad finished around, say, 11, 10.30, 11-ish, and, um, 
we went into local town Hanty and got a few things, a bit of chemical and all that. So now we're just, well, I'm just going back out, go spray some Bathurst Spurs with the little hand sprayer. Um, same property where Dad sprayed this morning, just down the paddock a bit more. Um, so, got my little hand spray with me and go and spray some Bathurst Spurs and yeah, see how it goes. So, I'm just finishing up spraying out here these little Bathurst Spurs. Um, a whole bunch of them down there you can see just big patches of like buddy 50 of them and um just re going over so i'm out of chemical now but um if you don't know what bathurst spurs look like they got little spikes on them um and if you have touched one before you would know how much they hurt they're like a stinger nettle but they don't sting it's just a pinch little pinch that um, gives you a bit of a, makes you pissed off for a few minutes, but um, yeah, we got around the area, you, you see people that um, that don't spray them, their packs are full of them, and they're like not every other week, they don't really take nutrients, they do, but like, yeah, there's little ones here, that's pretty decent. There's a, these ones, I probably missed probably only a few. Hopefully I didn't miss really much. Got another drum of chemical I can fill up. i we'll spray though. So we go do another one, another little patch. But um, yeah, that's, that's basically what I'm doing. So it's about 4.50 in the Arvo. And go and feed some sheep. Uh, the big new girl, called T7210, and um, yeah, see how she goes. You're probably wondering, you're probably not wondering, but we're thinking, why is the T7 not sound so good? It's because it's got to add blue, that deaf bullshit the government wanted to put in for emissions so she got 74.6 hours on her bought her 45 so she's been very good tractor so far no complaints only complaints is that it's got that blue so it doesn't suit and it doesn't sound good that's all I gotta say I got strict instructions to leave that one and cut the rest. This is how I learned to count. When you know you got a six string bale and you only get told to leave one, you should be left with five. And 90% of the time I'll be left with five. Because they hide. That's okay. I cut that one a bit too short. Pulling them is the worst thing when it's when it's an open bale. I hate pulling open bales because they just ends fall off. Then you gotta get the rest off the string, and it, yeah, it pisses me off. But we don't want to put string in the truck in the cab yet. So we just put it on the three point linkage, so that works a treat. So we got the string on the back, so we don't want the straw or whatever we, buddy, whatever bar we have in the cab, even though it's already dirty, it's carpet and there's mat up underneath, but um, we still want to try and keep it clean, but that doesn't think we should. <laughs> He tells me that it's a workhorse, it's meant to be meant to be dirty. And I was like, yeah, fair enough, but still gotta treat it with a bit of respect, I suppose. But uh she needs it clean already. I've already cleaned it about three times since we got it. 
um, give her a bit of a scrub it up, plan drop nicely. But um, so far, it's been a pretty decent tractor. 74.8 hours, it's going up slowly. When we get to 100, we got to give her a service, obviously. But I'll be doing speed tilling and wide line. I'll be having the wide line on here, which is canola stubble crunching, I suppose you could say. But on a speed till, maybe, oh, probably three or four paddocks. We'll see. But at the moment, we're doing nothing because we are waiting for stuff to be ready, you could say. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Um, it's good to get buddy, see how this works out, see if this YouTube thing is going to take off. Hopefully everything goes all right. Be good to keep producing videos, keep showing you the tractors, showing you everything. But um, that's basically my, pretty much it for today. If uh, anything else exciting happens, I'll probably pick this thing up and then, I don't know, but in the meantime, that's pretty much it for this this day. And uh, thanks for tuning in and um, I'll catch us, I suppose. That's it.